Death Valley National Park is the hottest, driest, and lowest in North America. The unforgiving landscape contains over 600 miles of roads which stretch across the Mojave Desert of California and Nevada. It may not seem like there are many things to do in such a barren area, but the extreme conditions make visiting Death Valley a one-of-a-kind adventure. Snow-capped mountains, stunning wildflowers, and mysterious rock formations will keep you captivated for days. In this video, we're going to cover the top things to do in Death Valley National Park. Visit Badwater Basin One of the most iconic places to see in Death Valley is the Badwater Basin. It's located 282 feet below sea level, making it the lowest point in North America. The landscape encompasses 200 square miles of salt flats. The hike to Badwater Basin begins right off the parking lot. It's a popular area to visit, so you can expect plenty of tourists, but the crowds quickly dissipate the further you get from Badwater Road. An easy one-mile walk across a flat boardwalk will take you to the edge of the salt flat. From there, you can wander through the salt crystals, which form unique geometric polygons that spread endlessly across the basin. This is an excellent place to take photos and marvel in the surrounding mountains. Explore Mosaic Canyon if you're up for a moderate to difficult hike through mixed terrain, Mosaic Canyon could scratch that itch. Though it's only two miles long, Mosaic Canyon features unique rock formations that you can't find anywhere else. As you enter the canyon, it may not look special aside from the unbelievably smooth walls, but stick with it. Traveling deeper leads to new formations, including the natural mosaics for which the canyon earned its name. Various rock particles encased in natural concrete create colorful patterns throughout the hike. Climb the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes Sand is not a particularly exciting or unusual sight in Death Valley until you see the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes in the middle of the mountains. This area is named for the mesquite trees growing strong despite the unique conditions created by the wind. These sand dunes can be especially picturesque during sunrise and sunset. Visitors should note that there's no set trail, and some interesting creatures reside in the dunes, so it's important to watch your step. Expect a one-and-a-half-hour hike over easy to moderate terrain if you want to reach the tallest dune. Experience Devil's Golf Course Devil's Golf Course is a massive field of jagged rock salts. It's said that only the devil himself could play golf on such serrated spires. You could certainly make a drive-by to appreciate how the site earned its name, but you'd miss out on one of the best features. As Death Valley's heat causes salt crystals to expand and contract, they make small pops and pings throughout the jagged course. The wide open area isn't exactly easy to maneuver, but it's a fun and challenging hike to experience. If you choose to explore the site, be cautious because many visitors walk away with minor injuries, like cuts and twisted ankles. Fortunately, you can observe Devil's Golf Course right from the parking lot, so you're not bound to traverse the terrain if you want to keep your skin intact. Take a ride on Artist Drive. If you're not in the mood for walking around, an excellent alternative is a scenic tour on Artist Drive. Artist Drive is located on Badwater Road between Furnace Creek and Devil's Golf Course. The road itself is about nine miles one direction and takes about 45 minutes to complete. Along the way, don't forget to visit Artist Pallet, which is located about five miles down the road. This is a vividly colored section of the mountainside, which can also be explored on foot. The best time to view these vibrant formations is on sunny afternoons when the colors shine their brightest. Visit Dante's View Overlook Among the many things to do in Death Valley, climbing to the top of Dante's View will give you the most photographic perspective of the park. The viewpoint is perched 5,575 feet high and overlooks Badwater Basin and the Black Mountains. The high elevation means it's much cooler than the valley floor and the perfect place to get a break from the searing sun. Many visitors enjoy traveling to Dante's View to watch the incredible sunsets. As the sun drops below the Panamint Mountains, you can witness the valley floor change colors. Explore the Wild Rose Charcoal Kilns One of the most unique sites in Death Valley National Park are the 10 charcoal kilns in Wild Rose Canyon. Dating back to the 1800s, the charcoal kilns resemble giant beehives lining the road. Though no longer functional, the kilns once fueled the smelters that served nearby lead and silver mines. Today, the area is the perfect blend of history and architecture to explore. Hike around Yubihibi Crater A half a mile wide and 600 feet deep, Yubihibi Crater is an incredible sight. 
Also known as Coyote's Basket, this crater formed following steam and gas explosions from Mar volcanoes about 300 years ago. Though you can find other craters around Death Valley, Yubihibi Crater is the largest of the formations. It features colorful layers and a mudflat at the bottom that marks dried up lakes. Although you can see the crater right from the parking lot, the best way to experience its scale is with a hike. Tourists can walk around the rim, which is about a mile and a half in diameter, and even trek down to the bottom. Witness the mysteries of Racetrack Playa. Racetrack Playa may be one of the most mysterious sites you can visit in the National Park Service. At first glance, this dry lake bed is beautiful, though seemingly unremarkable, until you notice the moving rocks. The dry lake bed earned its name because routinely, rocks fall from surrounding mountains above and then proceed to race across the landscape. You can find trails behind each rock that marks its movement. Some manage to travel more than a thousand feet. Though it's been a puzzle for decades, some scientists believe they've solved the mystery of racetrack playa's moving rocks. Using time-lapse photography, it's been predicted that floating ice pushes the rocks along their path although no one has actually witnessed this phenomenon. To visit Racetrack Playa, you need a vehicle suited for rough, remote roads. Standard vehicles can handle the trip, and usually end up with flat tires. Hikers can access this trail at Stovepipe Wells Village. Expect to spend two and a half to three hours to complete the four-mile round-trip hike. Catch a sunset at Zabriskie Point. Despite its foreboding name, Death Valley boasts some truly stunning scenery, including Sabrisky Point. Possibly the most iconic vantage point in Death Valley, Sabrisky Point is a highlight that visitors can't miss. You can experience breathtaking sunrises and sunsets at Sabrisky Point, but that doesn't mean you can't capture stunning photographs at other times. The yellow and brown hills allow you to see for miles in every direction, and take snapshots of the Panamint Mountains, Manly Beacon, even the Salt Flats. Visitors at the Furnace Creek Visitor Center can head east on Highway 190. It's an easy trip. Expect about a 15-minute drive to the parking area, followed by a short quarter-mile walk along a paved trail.